Oh, here we go. Road Warriors! Dun, 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 dun. place for bikes. Experiment number two today. It's still sideways looking, but on the handlebars now. It is here. Could have gone along to the left, and 
that would have taken us down to Long Regis, but I haven't got the time for that this afternoon. So we'll have to make do with uh, back the way we came. He's seeing that poor bugger struggling along on his bike. <laughs> he used to cycle a lot. <coughs> as a kid, as most kids do. The thing I don't like about cycling is all the pedalling. It's hard work. And I know the government's very keen on getting cycling which is why they've come up with this ridiculous absolutely ridiculous nonsense about giving cyclists minimum of one and a half meters as you overtake them I mean we've seen a string of I'll refrain from swearing but scumbag cyclists sending in footage from their GoPros. Of, I mean there was one poor sod in his car as he was overtaking. I mean the cyclist was taking up half the road. As he was overtaking there was another car coming the other way towards him. He didn't have anywhere to go really and so he passed what the cyclists deemed a bit close and because the police are more interested in woke virtue signalling. They thought, oh, we'll have a go at that. So he got fined and points, apparently. And this utterly absurd Dutch reach sounds like something out of a porn film. I'm not using my left hand to open the car door. Quite capable of checking my mirrors, thank you, before I open the door. So they're all keen on. Let's do this. Right, so, yes, they're all keen on cycling. Green, isn't it? Green! It's a planet saver. Keeps you fit. Yay! It's fine if you live in London or Norfolk or Suffolk or out in the Somerset levels maybe. Try where living where I bloody live. There's not a bit of flat land about. It's either straight up or straight down. No thank you. There's talk in the uh, in the media about, about uh, it'll come to nothing, I'm sure. But there's talk about cyclists having to have insurance and license plates. I should think so, and I think they should have a big flashing beacon mounted on the top of a helmet. Maybe something that weighs. <laughs> three or four kilos and I think it should give off a siren sound as well as they pedal along because they do take the piss so many of them take the piss they run through lights bump up on curbs when it suits them ignore one-way restrictions I've got to pay road tax for this, I've got to insure it, I've got to have a licence for it, I've got to pass a test to ride it. If I break the speed limit and I get caught, I get points. It's 
So fine, you want to fill the roads with cyclists, you make them just as responsible in my opinion. We're not Holland. We'll never be Holland. Oh, here we go. Road Warriors! Dun, 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 dun. God, imagine having nothing better to do on a Saturday afternoon than don a bloody high-vis jacket and stand out in the road with a speed gun and not get paid for it. I mean, you've got to have a heart blacker than I've got. I mean, Charles would be a fine thing to speed along here, wouldn't it? Thing is, with electric bicycles now, they can all do more than 30 mile an hour, no problem. They can go barreling down through there, no worries. And while I'm ranting, I ranted about this last week, um, but I didn't, I didn't include it, I didn't finish that part. Oh my god, what was that? That was a big insect. I don't know how they come out of the bush, straight at you, like scub missiles. Anyway, as I was ranting, and that Tesla went by. Electric cars, I'm sick of them already. I don't want one. I don't see how they are any greener for the environment other than the immediate environment that they are driving in because they don't give out disgusting black smoke like diesels do so that's fine I get that that's all right but you can't tell me that replacing three billion cars on the planet with batteries is not going to be an environmental disaster in and of itself um, I got nowhere to park one at night and charge it. And I was thinking yesterday, that trip up to Kenilworth, I'd have had to have stopped along the way, found somewhere to charge it, waited 40 minutes to an hour while it charges. No thank you. I get travelling anxieties, it is, without the thought constantly watching my battery gauge drop. Bit warm outside, pop the air conditioning on. No, oh, thank you, not with my battery, you don't. Open the window, no, you don't. That extra drag will cost me another 20 miles, thank you. Can we put the radio on? No. Can so and so come along for the ride? Nope, because it's extra weight.
I mean, all these things are pertinent to any car. But the difference is, in a petrol engine, there's no shortage of petrol stations. And it takes minutes, minutes to fill up and be back on the road. Can you imagine the chaos and the pandemonium on the roads when nearly every car in circulation is electric and they need to charge on the go? It's going to be like there's a fuel shortage, but permanently. There'll be queues and queues and queues as people try and get to a charger. I mean, what about the millions and millions of people that live in rows of terraced housing who at the best of times can't park anywhere near their house because there's scores of cars already there how are they going to charge overnight over now then this tunnel they built because the old road used to go up oop, up there and it was too much for the horses horse and cart Can you imagine them dragging all up that hill and so this tunnel was commissioned. Well, I know you've seen it before, but... Yeovile in all its uh, glory. Couldn't do it to you. Slightly better one for you. One view.